Nice ride, dude. Thanks, man. Nice ride, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we are gonna be testing out the Vive Mars. If you're not familiar with the Vive Mars, it's pretty much a virtual production camera tracker for Unreal Engine 5. Now, usually you would use this in a LED or a green screen virtual production shoot, but I really wanted to test this out as a VCAM, like you saw in that skit and like you're seeing now. Now, before I was using my VR headset as a camera tracker, but unfortunately they pretty much got rid of that support in Unreal Engine 5.2, I believe is when I got rid of it, or 5.1. So right now, the only way we can kind of control the camera as a VCAM is using the iPhone app. And unfortunately, even with a one gig uh, internet and really fast router, I'm still getting some issues. So what I did was I contacted Tim Wen from Vive. And I was like, hey dude, let me go borrow a Vive Mars so we can kind of see, you know, how it works as a VCam. And I gotta tell you right now, it works amazing. The, the thing that kind of blows my mind is the setting up. It comes with two of these rovers or trackers, and it comes with two base stations and a little LED screen, which is kind of like the brain. And I can tell you right now, setting up is like five minutes. Like it took longer for me to unbox everything than actually get it set up with Unreal Engine, which is insane. Now it is using Live Link and it is using Wired. So you kind of have to think about that if you're looking into it but it comes with two really long thin ethernet wires like what you're seeing right now, which to me, it helps because it helps the camera movement to be smoother. Now, right now I have the base station set up over there and one right behind me where you can see it. Realistically, I would like to have two more right here in front of me so that I would kind of have a 360 uh, coverage of my area, even though it's just a small space. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and kind of check this out in the Unreal Engine City Sample Project. I do have the engine running right now, so as you can see, we have some metahumans walking around. But I did turn down the, the traffic because my computer cannot handle everything. This is running on epic scalability setting. In editor, we are live. I am moving the camera left and right, just like that. Now I'm gonna be careful here, because again, we don't have two base stations in front, so I don't want it to lose track. So I'm gonna be really careful whenever I'm kind of doing my motions. I can click on my iPhone, and by the way, I am connected to an iPhone as a screen as well, wirelessly. So that's really sick, it works really nicely with that. So in here, I can actually focus my car and really just look around. Now the car is floating. I'm not sure why that is. Sometimes whenever you're doing the begin play in the city sample, it does float a little bit. But as you can see, we have some meta humans walking around. Let's see if I can focus her right there. She's gotta go to work. She's got her coffee. Oh, there you go. See, I'm losing tracking because I'm blocking the base station. So I'm gonna stay right here so I don't kind of ruin that. But no, he's gotta go to work. And we have a scrub in front of this. And it's so cool because I'm actually able to control the height and the location of the camera using the app. So if I go right here, walk around, we have that dude, he's kind of just staring at me. I do have this animation playing back. So there you go. He looks, he looks really suspicious, I don't know what he's doing in that car. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this uh, Vive Mars as a VCam. It's really good right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like our only hope as far as a virtual camera, unless you have like, you know, the Vicon or other expensive systems. And I was told that the more base station you get, uh, the bigger uh, you can go as far as your space goes. So yeah, so let's see if I can kind of go over this here, maybe make it boom it up a little bit. 
yeah, he's, he's, he doesn't look, doesn't look too happy in there. He's mad. All right. But yeah, can I zoom out, make this kind of like a wider lens so we can see a little bit better? Okay, now we have a wider lens. And here is the car. Love this thing. This thing is freaking awesome, man. I wish I had like a big space so I can like walk around more. See if I can get in front. I'm probably gonna disappear. But I can see on my monitor. So, oh, I go. It's, sorry, it's losing track there a little bit. But it's okay, I recovered it. I'm blocking it right now with my hat, so. Yeah, definitely two more base stations, or even just one would definitely help. Oh, man. This is so cool. I tried adding some, like, traffic, but it, it was crashing my computer. I don't know, maybe we can find some. Let's see. Uh-oh. Boom up. Look at this shot. Let's go ahead and get this shot. Oh, there you go. We got some traffic. We got some traffic up there. Let's go. Let's go. Drone shot. Whee! How freaking cool is this, dude? Oh, my God. This is so freaking fun. Here you go. We got some cars. Dun, 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 dun. Taxi. So we, they got some in the highway. And I think I actually reduced the meta humans as well. Man, my RTX 4090 is screaming at me right now. This is, this is crazy. This is all running real time right now, y'all. <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just kind of want to show you that because I did use it for a short skit like right off the bat because I was so excited. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this, man. This is the Vive Mars. Uh, it's available right now if you want to purchase it. I'm going to be using it a lot more, obviously. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. That's my first impression of the Vive Mars as a virtual camera in Unreal Engine 5. Overall, I am pretty happy with it. It's so easy to set up.